look, I'd be happy to have a driving contest with him. The reason I got my handicap, which when I was vice president, down to a six. At the presidential debate, something stood out. By the way, I told you before, I'm happy to play golf with you if you carry your own bag. Think you can do it? That's the biggest lie that he's a six handicap of all. Both men attempted to boost their respective golf games while dissing the others. You know, we knock on wood wherever we may have wood that I'm in very good health. I just won two club championships, not even senior, two regular club championships. To do that, you have to be quite smart. Okay, as always, with a Trump discussion, fact-checking is key. He is right that it is smart to win two club championships, probably because he could later brag about it. But how did this happen? The president hit the links Sunday morning at his own Trump International Golf Club in West Palm Beach. It's a course where the president happens to have won the 2018 Men's Club Championship despite never playing in the tournament. It's because akin to everything the man does, he lies to win. Here's where we introduce longtime sports media member Rick Riley who has worked for ESPN, ABC, the Los Angeles Times, Sports Illustrated, the Denver Post. More importantly, he is a golf enthusiast. He has dedicated tireless hours to writing this book that you see on your screens titled Commander in Chief, detailing the relationship between Trump and golf. The findings? He cheats like a mafia accountant. Like he, he cheats crazy. He cheats whether you're watching or not. He cheats whether you like it or not. He tried to cheat Tiger Woods in a match and Tiger hits it like this. He hits two balls in the water, doesn't count either, and, and pretends that he almost tied Tiger Woods. Riley says he also spent a year researching the book and interviewed several of Trump's caddies. And asked them, you know, does the president cheat? And they all said, no, he doesn't cheat. We cheat for him. He hates bunker shots. You know, he kicks the ball out of the rough so many times, the caddies call him Pele. <laughs> Donald Trump hates the chip. He's a terrible chipper. Most guys hit a chip like this, right? What he did once and got caught was he put the ball in his hand, did like a fake air chip, and then he goes, oh my God, I think I made it, runs up. I made it. Trump says he's a 2.8, which is really, really good. To give you a little idea, Jack Nicholas is a 3.5. Jack Nicholas. Usually you would put a mark down, pick up the ball. What he does, he secretly puts the marker on the end of the putter, and then he looks like he's marking it, but really now the mark is three feet closer. That's a way easier putt. He cheats a lot. Now back to that line. I just won two club championships, not even senior two regular club championships. To do that, you have to be quite smart. Riley would later learn how Trump does it. He told people on the campaign trail, I don't know if you remember this, mm -hmm. but he said, I'm a winner. You gotta vote for me, because I've won 18 club championships. He said this three or four times, and that's against the best players in the club. But I knew he was lying, because he told me how he does it. On MSNBC, Riley would explain further. I was sitting here reading clip, uh, tweets, he's saying he'd won 18 club championships, and I'm like, you liar, because you told me how you did it when I played with you uh, years ago. He said when he buys a new course, he plays the first round by himself and calls that the club championship. So I started looking into, started calling around, and people said, ah, oh, yeah. So, well, one day he was at Trump Philly, and we played the, Trump championship, uh, the club championship at Trump Bedminster, and he called in and said, hey, who won the championship? And they said, oh, Joe Schmo shot 76. And Trump goes, well, I shot 73 up here at Trump Philly. Make me the champion. And that is how he gets all of these plaques plastered over the walls of each and every Trump property. The man's cheating, of course, knows no bounds. Not only did he pull a fast one on Tiger Woods, but he claimed he performed better than another legendary golfer. He'd write on his own social media platform that he shot a 67 at Trump Bedminster, located in the state of New Jersey, the senior tournament. Do we truly believe he outperformed a guy like Phil Mickelson, AKA Lefty, by eight strokes? Who in their right minds would possibly believe this? Well, actually, I think we know, unfortunately, who would believe this, and they have the blinders on. He could stand on the front steps of the White House and, and commit murder, and I'm with him. <laughs> Riley, a longtime member of sports media who really passionately 
loves golf, was disgusted by Trump's antics. The thing that bothers me is like, okay, golf, fine. But when he started campaigning on this as, I'm a winner, I can close out. I've mm -hmm. won 18 club championships and that's against the best players. It bothered me because I don't know anything about yeah. politics. You guys know about politics, but I know about right. golf and you don't get to do that. And about 10 of them were super seniors championships, which is not the club championship at all. The reason Riley and many golfers were ticked at this is rather simple. From the ringer, why Riley wrote commander in chief is revealing about his writerly MO. The reason Riley states most often is that Trump has left a stain on golf. A sport Riley not only covered, often at sky touching better than Jenkins levels, who wrote the Sports Illustrated piece on LeBron James being the chosen one, but played his whole life. Quote, there are so many ways Trump just throws up all over golf, Riley would say. It's hard for me to get mad about Trump refusing to remove his hat while shaking hands after a round. But Riley's right to say Trump sees a golf course like he does the Oval Office. Fair point. More on the I win club championships line. And it comes from none other than locally where Mar-a-Lago is in Palm Beach via the Palm Beach Post. Just ask members of Trump International West Palm Beach who arrived for the final round of their senior club championship on January 22nd only to find Trump's name at the top of the leaderboard when he didn't play the first round. But he did play a round earlier in the week, claim he had a good day, and decided to use that score for the first round of the Senior Club Championship. So now you see how this goes. The man simply says, I did this, put my name on it, screw over whoever might have bested me because the man can't stand not lying and coming in second place. You also saw it with the election. And yet, it isn't just the club championships where he cheats. It shows that he wants to boost his own score while simultaneously cheating others, even people he plays with. And I'm gonna tell you about it. There's a story in the book where Rick Riley would write of Donald Trump despising former Monday Night Football announcer, NBC announcer, Mike Tirico, and his tee shot, which was dubbed the shot of his life. It was a three wood, 230 yards, placed right on the green. Phenomenal shot. Except when they would arrive, the ball somehow was not on the green. It was 50 feet from the pin. What happened? Tariko was later told by one of Trump's caddies that the tee shot was roughly 10 feet from the pin, but Trump decided to move it into the bunker. The caddy would say, and I quote, I watched him do it. Ouch. The Curtis once more, every one of Trump's most disgusting quality surfaces in golf. Racism. When playing golf with Riley, Trump handed $100 tips to Chilean course workers and says, quote, Now, those guys are the Donald Trumps of Chile. Ecological terror. A caddy tells Riley that Trump's golf cart once contained a can of red spray paint and that Trump marked trees. His balls hit with a red X. The trees were removed the next day. That is a buffoonery power grab. And then there is his overweening misogyny and they would go over an incident at a pro-am where one golfer would say and i quote that was the worst experience i ever had playing golf he hit on me but in a kind of creepy way i guess the fact i was married didn't matter to him no it certainly would not there are no bounds to the ways this man will cheat in order to win many have said that golf because it is a very honorary game that if you cheat at golf you cheat at life the saying goes for Donald Trump.